Hey guys, what's up? It's Shay and Jordy from Electric MX. And we're now we're going to change a chain. We're going to tighten a chain on a 1000 watt Venom. Quad. Smallest kids quad. So, how old were you? Did you even ride this one, Jordan? Or did you jump right onto that one? I rode that one. You rode this one? Yeah, I rode a How old were you when you rode this? Oh, uh, like, like five? Five? Five or six? No, you were on that one. You were on the 1300 watt. This one, Diana was riding this one when she was two. So my daughter rode this quad when she was two. This one's pretty sweet. It has three keyed settings in the back here. So you can really, uh, it's basically like walk, jog, run to, uh, to get the speed going. And this one has enough torque to do a wheelie with me on it. I don't know if you guys seen the video. I was at Home Depot parking lot doing some wheelies on this thing. It's pretty hey, sweet. Dad? Yeah, bud. Put the link in the comments. Put the link in the comments. I don't know what that means, son. The link in the comments to that video. The link in the comments to that video. Yeah, the of you doing a wheelie. Is that what they do? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, what we're doing today is we have this one thousand watt quad here. We've had this one for a couple a couple years. It's been doing us pretty good. This is thirty six volts NiCad battery. Uh, th I believe it's yeah three batteries in uh, in se in series in there. So right now the chain was really, really loose and it was popping off when uh, my nephew was riding it here. So now uh, we're gonna fix that. The way to fix it, I was very confused about it at first. I had to call the manufacturer. Luckily my good friend there, Vinny, awesome guy. Uh, he, he helped me out and sent me the video link uh, showing. So I wanted to make my own video to make it very clear for everyone exactly how you do this. So right now I'm gonna take the camera and bring it in and show you what's up. So here's your axle that you're looking at, there's your motor. And if you look here, there's two, sorry, I'll keep the camera like this, there's these two cups on the axle. These two cups on the axle, and those cups are on two spacers that are ovular. They're different shape to space the axle out. So if you see here, what I did is I put an Allen key in the hole and I put an Allen key in the hole, and then if you rotate it like this, it frees it up. If you put it like this, it puts tension on the chain. So like that, frees it up, all right? You can see in the hole, and then like that, because you can see that it's spaced closer on this side and wider on that side. So the more meat you give on the front side here, that's the more meat that's gonna space your axle back. So the key to doing this is having not too much slack because uh, the suspen the motor is in here, so it will move with the suspension. So it's not like there's linkage or anything like that. So I'm gonna make this chain fairly tight, but what I have to make sure of is that I line up both of these circles at the same point, just like when you're spacing your chain on a regular bike. So here's just a quick view around on the bike little 1000 watt venom these ones I, I really like them for kids because of that key setting they can't mess around with it whereas opposed to this one this is the 1300 watt venom which which i like a lot more because it's a lithium battery in here but uh if you see under the seat on this one this one's the full variable speed so it's it's better because you have more adjustments but it's also a little more complicated right Okay, so let's get back to the purpose of this video, spacing this chain and setting it properly. Okay, so there you can see my axle moving. So let's see, that one's at the front. This one is at the front. I'm pretty good with that tension, so you see my circle. I don't know what the best way to see this is. Circle, two of them like that. One is a little bit high on there. So this one, it just has to move up just a little bit. I'll move it up just a little bit more. And yeah, that spacing looks good to me as I line it up with there. That one's a little bit high. That one's a little bit high. And then now you just simply tighten these two eight millimeters back on here. Snug it up a little bit on that side. Snug it up a little bit on this side. Check that chain. Once it's tight, let's see how it looks once it's tight. All right, snug it, snug it, snug it up. 
you want to do a little bit at a time. You don't want to do one all the way and one all the way. You want to do them kind of evenly. That's the best way to do it. Okay, let's give this a little cranky cranky. So that chain is still too loose, so I have to gap this out more. When I brought this up, it took too much slack away, so I gotta, I gotta give it some more. Alrighty, so let's space that out a little bit more. Not a big deal. Get the Allen key in there, give it the room to go. So to space it out more, I'll put it in this bottom. I'll put it in the bottom hole. I'm just using Allen keys. You can use a wrench, whatever you want. And let's get that a little bit higher like that. This thing's trying to fall off on me here. I'm going to set the camera back up and do my thing, and then I'll show you what happened after. Friends coming over right now to check and check around. Okay, so that's really tight. Okay. Slack there. Let's bring it back just a little bit. Okay, that's high there. Bring this one up. High there. Good chain. Once I tighten this, let's see how she looks. play and you're not going to need any play because I'm not going to add tension onto there as the suspension moves. So I'm comfortable with that tension now. I'll show you guys the tension and I'll show you guys the settings. Okay. Okay again I'll show you one more time here. So I just lined up my circles on my axle as it rotates that's what actually gives you the spacing and you see there i have the same on both sides and i have just a little bit of slack in the chain which as i said this one doesn't really need any slack because this whole thing moves with the chain it's not like it's a separate linkage all right guys hope that was helpful for you again it's Electric MX, hit us up and we'll uh, get back to you with the next video.